Hello and welcome back to our series of tutorials on Corel's Paint Shop Pro Photo. In this tutorial, I'll be using the new version X3 to show you a cool depth of field trick to make objects look like toys. This effect can also be done in X2. Perhaps you've seen TV commercials that showcase this effect. It might be a stadium full of people running around or someone's driveway with people loading up their cars. I've seen them, you probably have too. Everything looks like miniature toy models running around. And you're thinking, wow, CGI just found another cool effect. Actually, CGI doesn't have a whole lot to do with it, just some. And this effect can easily be done on images or single frames in Video Studio. Let me show you how. I have several photos that are good choices for this effect. By good choices, I mean images that have a large range of distance between the foreground and the background. This makes it much easier to accept that either the foreground or the background might be out of focus from the other. I think I'll select this one of the Mont Tremblant Ski Village in Eastern Canada. Let's take this photo to the full editor by clicking on the tab in the upper right. I'll go to full screen and then select Adjust Depth of Field. I'll select the Lasso Selection tool, which allows me to make any shape I desire. Now, you might notice one slightly annoying tick, and that's the effect wants to render itself in the slightest adjustment, even when choosing a tool. Either let it go or hit cancel. All right, I'll increase the blur to about 30. I'll leave the aperture at round. The aperture shape can affect light patterns in the blurred areas. I'll set the feathered edge to 10, so that's a good setting. The feathered edge will make the interface between the in-focus and out-of-focus areas less sharp or harsh and more gradual. The larger the number, the more gradual the interface. I'm keeping the focus range at zero. The focus range increases or decreases the size of the area that's in focus. Now, using the lasso tool, I'll draw a free form shape around the top of the village. I need to draw it above the buildings far enough so that the feathered edge doesn't creep into the buildings. Since I want the entire village to remain in focus. Now there's nothing wrong with redrawing this part until you get it right. Once you've got it done, click OK. Now to really add to the toy effect, go to Adjust, Hue and Saturation, Hue Saturation Lightness, and set the saturation somewhere between 30 and 40. See what's happened here? I've made the village look like a bunch of plastic toy buildings that you might see in a model train set. That's it. That's how easy this effect is. Here's what Seattle Space Needle looks like with the same effect applied. I just did it in the last 30 seconds. Oh, one thing to note, in Photoshop, you'll need to first create a gradient mask, and last I checked, you were limited to rectangular shapes. Also remember that Paint Shop Pro Photo is under $100. Okay, now it's your turn to try. Have fun, and we'll see you next time.